This is us getting from Escape News, and I'm now with the representative of Macedonia with Calliope. Welcome back, actually, to Thank Eurovision. You. How does it feel to be back, actually? It's a wonderful feeling to be back and uh, together again with you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, my ESC fans. It's a lovely ESC fans. And uh, the ESC journalist, of course, because you're the reason, because I'm back. Um, 2012 and my song Cerné Bello left um, a sign in the Eurovision music history. I think this song um, of Macedonian language that everyone who made and know about Cerné Bello can sing Cerné Bello and uh, this wonderful memories from Baku as uh, living still in me and um, when Macedonian National TV called me last year in November to invite me again, I say yes. <laughs> and you're one of the returning representatives, so the thing that I want to ask is when you compare the 2012 Eurovision and this one, mm -hmm. what are the changes that you see at Eurovision? <laughs> Only me. <laughs> I change. No. Um, actually, yes, we uh, will. Sh we should change always something in our lives, in our thoughts, minds, because um, actually, the music is something very creative, and the Eurovision Song Contest is the biggest music show in the world, and. Um, in the final evening, the final evening of the Eurovision song, watching more than 200 million people, and um, now we are in Stockholm. Actually, Stockholm is the center of the of the world pop music production. And it's such an amazing feeling to be to be in the country um, with uh, big music pop history and the biggest music pop history before was maybe UK and America, but uh, Sweden it's really 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 up in the last couple of years, and I think that. It's such a different story. Baku was amazing, really amazing. I kept all these beautiful moments in my heart because the people was lovely there and was very good organization in every segment, in um, the question of professional way, the human way. Uh, our host uh, was perfect and uh, I think also here in Sweden uh, you such meet other mentality and other art of uh, feeling and everything but I think the people every one of the people here love to give his best for all us and um, we should be very grateful for this uh, wonderful time in Sweden, in Stockholm and such. Mm -hmm. I should think now about my performance, uh, about Donna, my son. You didn't tell me how are you, how are you? It's, the, it's, my, actually, your time. it's my first Eurovision, so really? I'm really excited. I can yeah. see this in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and lastly, do you have any message to our readers to escape news, and especially for Turkey, because we're coming from Turkey? Actually, uh, Turkey is always in my heart, <laughs> and I imagine, I imagine how I performing one day in Turkey in such a big concert f because I know that many people in Turkey knows about Calliope and the music of Calliope, but uh, that what we are miss and we should work on them. It's this connection to bring us closer, and maybe I, not maybe I will visit Turkey very soon and um, 
because I want to give my soul and my heart through the music for all you, my beautiful Turkey friends. Love you all. Kaliopi. Thank you for this interview and best of luck at Sevi Panetsu.